Jay Shree, Ram World Razor, Sabine and Roger here. Let's watch Ayodhya's Ram Mandir, nations involved in the making of the temple. Oh yeah, this should be good. So of course we're all about community and love and helping one another. And yeah, so let's find out. This Ram Mandir is a huge, huge, huge deal. So other nations reaching out and helping out. It's fantastic. Let's mm -hmm. find out all about it. Yeah. Ayodhya's Ram Temple Yay. opening the doors. Mm -hmm. For the devotees of Lord Ram, they say that this has been a wait of centuries, of 500 years to be specific, wow. including the legal fight of many decades. Mm -hmm. While the Ram Lalla idol or the child form of God Ram will be placed on 22nd January 2024, mm -hmm. it is amazing how Ayodhya city and Hinduism has connected different countries with a binding thread. And therefore you see, contributions and congratulations that have come in for India's Ram Temple. Oh, wow. The Ramayana is one of the ancient epics in world literature yeah. and talks about not just stories and tales, but also about what are ideal characteristics to have. Beautiful, wow. Oh, yeah. oh goosebumps. <laughs> Sweet. Just beautiful. Nepal! Nepal! I love you. <laughs> Nepal, our immediate neighbor, sent these two Shaligram rocks. Watch how the what? rocks were transported Holy with reverence, smokes. worshipped on the way and showered cool. with flower oh, petals. God. There was a threefold reason for this. Hindus consider this fossil stone as Lord Vishnu's form and Lord Ram is considered as the reincarnation of oh Vishnu. My God. Oh boy. So what can be more befitting and wow. valuable than the Shaligram rocks? Hmm. And the third reason is because Ma Sita is documented as the daughter of present-day Nepal. That makes Ayodhya mm. the son-in-law's family. So other <laughs> gifts also have been sent then. Oh, Jewelry, utensils oh, and clothes. Now because of awesome. this, the Nepalese business community is also eyeing opportunities in Ayodhya. Since a large number of devotee visitors, understandably from Nepal, will start to mm. throng Ayodhya. This okay. will not be religious tourism or cultural only anymore but also yeah. economic connect now between India and Nepal, which will in turn mean stronger political ties. Mm. Wow. Nepal's envoy to India, Shankar Sharma says, and I quote him here, Ram is extremely important to the Nepalese people. Totally. Sri Lanka <laughs> has important sites mentioned in the epic Ramayana. Oh, yeah. One oh. specific was <laughs> yes. the Ashok Vatika, where Ma Sita is held captive mm -hmm. after abduction by King Ravan. Mm -hmm. Sri Lankan High Commissioner to India, Melinda Moragora, visited Ram Janmabhoomi in 2021 and had offered a shila, which is a sacred stone, for the Ram Temple from that very location of Ashok Vatika, which is also called there as Sita Elia. This initiative of dedicating the stone will also strengthen India-Sri Lanka's political and diplomatic ties. Hmm. Sweet. Indonesia though has the largest Muslim population in the world, but they also acknowledge their Hindu history and in fact continue to follow it in their mm. culture. It's quite yeah. remarkable. Many awesome. ancient Hindu sages are known to have thrived in what is present-day Indonesia. On the streets of Bali, you will see mm. gigantic statues from the Ramayana scriptures like Garuda, Jatayu, uh, Lord Ram whoa. or Hanuman. No the Javanese awesome. Kakawin Ramayana or Balinese Ram Kavacha have strong influence. There is Valmiki and Tamil poet Kamban's versions also that are read widely. Indonesia wow. has also been sent an invitation for cultural performances in the month oh, wow. around the big inauguration. Cool. And they've come here earlier as well during the Deepotsav festival. Uh, because cultural performances of the Ramayana by the artists in Bali are quite popular and very widely respected. Wow. Cool. Thailand is another country that has a strong connection. The Thai version of the Ramayana is known as Ramakin. You will notice innumerable similarities wow. between Indian and Thai cultures. India celebrates the Dev Deepavali and Kartik Purnima during the same time. Thailand celebrates Loy Krothong, that's known as the Thai festival of lights, just as <laughs> wow. Deepavali. But it is the capital of the 13th century Siam Empire called Ayutthaya which finds its root in the word Ayodhya uh, and shows the history of Hindu kings who were devout followers of Lord Ram. Wow. Many say even descendants of Lord Ram. Wow. This is a awesome. distance between Ayodhya and Ayodhya of more than 3,000 kilometers and yet how strongly there is a connect today. Isn't it incredible? Hmm. Wow. And oh, therefore, yeah. 
Thailand has sent soil from Ayutthaya for the Ram Temple. Oh. Thailand has also sent water wow. from the two rivers for Ayodhya. Oh. This holy water, as reports are suggesting, likely will be used for Lord Ram's Jallabhishek, which is a ritual in which the deity's idol is given a holy bath. <laughs> oh, I love it! Great job! Not just this. Water from the streams, rivers, oceans surrounding over 100 countries what? has been what? brought into India by the NGO oh. Delhi Study Circle. It is led wow. by a BJP leader, Vijay Jolly, who has said that the water has been sent even by Hindus from Pakistan that came via Dubai. And he's also claimed that not just Hindus, but other communities, two of other countries, have cooperated in this initiative. The holy water from seven continents was received by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh in presence of Ram Janmabhoomi Tirth Kshetra General Secretary Champat Rai. There is a reason for this drive. According to scriptures, during Lord Ram's coronation in the Treta Yug, water was brought in from seven oceans, oh. Sapta Sagar. Wow. This initiative is meant to recreate that moment. Awesome. Wow. Not many know. <laughs> But South Korea and Ayodhya are believed to have a direct connection and how? <laughs> Princess Suri Ratna of Ayodhya, of possibly the first century according to Korean legends, had reached Korea at the insistence of her father to marry Korean king Kim Soro. And she later came to be known as Queen Hyo Hwang Ok. Descendants of the Karak dynasty from 2000 years ago are known to be from this lineage. Described as the princess of Ayutta on a journey to <laughs> wow. Korea. What a travelogue that would have <laughs> been back then, just imagine. Wow. Connecting Ayodhya of present day to the Korea that we know now. Wow. And South Korea's ambassador of India even earlier had expressed willingness to attend the inauguration ceremony oh. of the Ram Temple, reflecting on the cooperation between the two countries. <laughs> In Vietnam, one can find a Ramayana pedestal at the Tra Kyu Sham temple that dates back to the 7th century, we are told. Oh, Vietnam nice. also has a temple dedicated to the poet Valmiki, credited with wow. the writing what? of the widely followed version wow. of the Ramayana. Just in case you are wondering that these are mainly Asian nations, who else the world is so big? Hmm. India today met this German citizen. Huh? He's hmm. now known as a Hindu monk, Sanatan Das. Cool. He says he was here in 1992 when the Ramlala idol was in a tent, when there were massive restrictions around. To him now arranging free food distribution stalls in Ayodhya, as Lord Ram is said to get a temple of his own. Uh. So to say, he's a foreign national, but he has been as much associated with the wait for the Ram Temple. Yay. There are many who may not be able to attend in person right away, specifically because yes. of the security issues <laughs> and the massive crowd thronging Ayodhya. Mm -hmm. So the Hindu diaspora across the world are arranging broadcast and festive events <laughs> and in different countries. Yes. 1,000 temples across United States of America, for example, wow. will wow. have the live broadcast uh, arranged uh. and other events. Awesome. Wow. There is Vishwa Hindu Parishad local chapters to the Hindu Mandir Empowerment Council to resident Indians themselves in different groups as individuals mm. yeah. who've been actively involved in organizing events in different states wow. and across the world. I'm telling you, this is going to look like one big festive celebration <laughs> wow. among oh, yeah. the Hindu community across the world. <laughs> Listen in now to what the Prime Minister of the country said with regard to why it is so significant for the followers of Lord Ram. Bhagavan Ram ki janma bhumi par ban raha Bhagna mandir Divya mandir Sadiyo ki pratikshya ke baad Hum bhaartiyo ke dhairya ko Mili vijay ka pratik hai As I conclude, remember this King Ram, the ideal man and ruler as described in the epic Ramayan gives his followers the lesson to be good and do good. Mm. To the followers of Lord Ram and across the world, his main temple in his birthplace had been taken away, had been mm. missing. Many replicas emerged, but they believe his rightful place has returned now. Mm. And with that possibly has returned peace in Ayodhya. Ayodhya Vasi say their generations waited for 500 years, fought for so long, fought legally despite their numbers in the country. They were never sure really if in fact they will be able to see the temple in their lifetime. 
but on 22nd January 2024, Ram Lalla, the child form of Lord Ram, will be able to walk through the doors of his birthplace again. And the world would have contributed in this initiative. Hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. Oh, a little bit of tears. It's yeah, touching. I love yeah. it. It's extremely touching. I just love when people come together. Mm. I just love it. It just warms my heart. and uh, The connections between the, the neighboring countries and the closest oh. ones in particular. So yeah, yeah, we were aware of that as well. Just in the sense that you really got to kind of grasp your mind around how ancient the scripture is and how, yeah, it would have spread all over. And even the story of Lord Ram at that time. And some people, yeah, they want to dismiss it as mythology but how could a mythology have spread so rampantly as something that was believed at the time right so it would have been like an epic sort of thing and then all the neighboring countries which were part of Bharat at that time it was massive but have included all those areas so these these weren't like neighboring countries at that time they were part of the same empire right and there was different kingdoms within there but they were all part of the same thing so then for this to be for these connections to to be there is like yeah it's incredible my favorite story is of course that of nepal oh yeah oh it's just because i love nepal i really <laughs> have a heart connection the fact that they they send rocks right mm -hmm. to the western world it might sound really awkward and weird yeah. but it's such a beautiful gesture yeah it's like it strengthens the connection in such a way because obviously these rocks are like sacred wow. and they're like devoted to them and they're bringing them down and they're even like worshiping them on the way which is really significant in the sense that it's something that's very dear to the nepalese people and then bringing them to the ram temple it almost seems like when there's like a wedding right or a marriage and then it's like a like a dowry or something given to one of the other no. families to strengthen that bond but it's what the rock re represents yeah. right so yeah lord vishnu and a yeah. lot of people have a hard time understanding that but it's not up to us if we don't understand something it doesn't mean that we have to dismiss it we can recognize how beautiful it is because of course teaching in the bhagavad gita and then also just the sacred scriptures of the spirituality in general the enlightened beings they're explaining everything is coming from one source right everything is divine everything is part of yeah. god that video just made my day yeah it's nice. oh, wow 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 oh come on people the whole world would come together like that to support each other to celebrate each other yeah absolutely to rejoice in each other's the not only like triumphs but a spiritual you know shift where we begin to understand more like the truth within the different religions and then we yeah. allow them to operate fully yeah that's what the world needs it's like if you believe in something and it's good and it's higher it's a belief in something higher than yourself and that's fantastic right it raises your level of consciousness and to love and compassion and joy and your understanding how we're all connected and if the more people that do that, that embrace the truth. Wow. So fantastic. India Today was a great video. Wow. The presenter. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Well done. Thank you. Danyavad. Danyavad. Jay Shri Ram. Jay Shri Ram. May Lord Ram bless you all. And if you're going to the opening of the Ram Mandir or you have been there, if you watch this later, please let us know. Oh, yeah. Bye. Peace.